Unfortunately, also those people walking around, walking around free who actually did sexually assault a woman. But that's not what we're talking about. We see, and that's what that's what the problem with women is: is they start to conflate different issues. That remind me of my wife sometimes, right? And mm -hmm. and when I say yo, yeah, I'm sitting right next to you. I'm talking about you. That remind me of my wife, right? Sometimes, and, and I say yo, what what happened over there? And she'd be like, but last week. Well, if you had a problem last week, then you should have brought up last week. That's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about men that are protecting themselves based off of the society that we society that we live in. And it's too many guys, because if you really want to go on to the women aspect of it, it's a lot of women that should be doing prison time as it relates to accusing men of stuff that they didn't do. And then they just get to walk away scot-free when that guy had to spend the last 10, 20 years of his life in prison locked up trying to convince somebody that he was innocent. He was free. But they said, believe all women. So I don't really give a fuck about what women is talking about, especially as whether or not they, they got something done to them or not, because that ain't the movement right now. When we wanted to focus on the feminist movement, when we wanted to focus on Believe All Women and the Me Too, ain't nobody give a fuck about the Innocence Project and what men was talking about. And so now we want to start conflating issues when we bring up something that's concerning the men. And that's not what we're doing. We focus we on the men. We focus, we focus on the men. We focused on the men and we don't give a fuck about what these women is talking about because it's already too many women that's benefited on the backs of men and they ain't did shit anything anyway except lay on their back, get opportunities, get movie roles, get get greatness. And then when they fall the fuck off, they want to come back and say, no, nah, he did something to me. No, nah, you willingly took it. You let him pay for you to go to college. You gave up that that gawk gawk 3000. And now you want to come back and get some more. You a greedy bitch. Get the fuck out of here. And stop talking about what men do to you. We not we not hearing shit from women no more. I'm not B. sure Taylor. where this. I'm not sure where this hold on, even hold on, I'm not sure where this even hold on, hold on, hold on, The original hold question on. was on, if men how how they are. What was the original question? I don't know. We what were talking about, about men. I'm confused, Anton. Because we were talking about men. You were talking about some other stuff. You're saying we're going off subject. Wait, hold on. Let me finish talking. You're saying we're going off subject, right? You you going off subject? You going off subject? You completely went off a different subject than what the original question was. So I'm just following and I'm just piggybacking off of that. Now, B. Taylor, I got to ask. I just want to ask you a question. The, I'm fine. I just want to ask you a question. Is there a reason why you why you said that? The, 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 the conversation is about men backing off of having it. sex with women. Is there a reason why you came out of nowhere? I talking answered about the original how, question. Huh? I answered the original question. No, yeah, so just, just out of nowhere, where you just came out and said women are getting aid. I don't want to say the word, but aid. Why? What? Where that come from? That's not even what we was talking that's about. That's actually true, and I can state it because I want to. But yes. what does that have to do oh. with anything? Oh, shit. So you just want to? You just want to come in and just start there? making a random shit and start arguing? Who was that? No, right? no, 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 no. It's fair, it's fair that we veer different to different ways and different topics because it. You know, different subjects spawn different ways in which we talk about certain things, depending on how it goes. So it's fair. It's just fair that she get get a reality check on what's really happening out here in these streets. It's too many guys that's suffering, losing their scholarships, going to jail. Um, and then we always want to highlight and bring up how great women are, or what women are going through. We don't care about what women is going through right now. It ain't y'all time. Because the thing about it, it is, B. Taylor, like whenever we talk about just, you know, just you know, what? You Hold on. Maybe that's why women don't care. Hold on, B. Taylor. Look care. at this, though. Look no, at this. Don't don't we, we don't. We don't care if women don't care. It doesn't even matter if women care or not. Once you get to a certain level, and that's why we tell guys to focus on themselves. Because once you get to a certain level, you are gonna have your pick of the litter anyway. The ones that don't care will fall the fuck off, and they're gonna be begging for a man later on in their life. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. If that makes you sleep better at night, sure. So, B. Taylor, what I'm saying is. Like just overall, and not even just this conversation. Every time a man says something about what happens to to a man, what we got, we go through, what type of struggle we have, is always some woman that's just gonna unmute or or say in the comments or wherever. Well, what about women? Women do this, and and, and is and is uh, is like childish. You know what Vice I mean? Versa. It's really childish. All right, yeah, let me get lucky. Let me get lucky in there. Go ahead, lucky. You had a question. Yeah, I was going to say, based on their point and what Anton was saying, don't you think the most effective way of prevention or to protect your brand is to kind of like what Lady Shandu said, just don't do it. Like, because you can you can have an NDA, you can have all these things in place, but the average man doesn't. So if you're talking about the Me Too movement, which I agree, there are groups of women who do lie, just like what she's saying. There are serious situations. So they get conflated. 
But what Lady Shan said, wouldn't to prevent that, wouldn't it be smart to just, like you said, not do it and just sleep with your wife? Yep. Very preventable. If you're married, yes. I was going to say, what about the men that's not married? What about the men that aren't married? Don't have sex. Well, well, I don't know. That would be for me when you're, if you, since you guys represent yourself as high level men, if you aren't, well, Anton has been married for a while. I don't know about you. But if you, uh, while you're single, how do you operate? Like, do you, are you promiscuous? Like, do you take home a lot of different women? Or do you have one consistent woman that you trust, kind of like on some Bill Gates, I'm going to just keep going to my ex type of situation where I know that I trust her. Like, I guess that would be for y'all to tell us single men who are at this level operate like this to avoid these situations. Well, that's kind of like what I talked about how earlier, like I'm not running around sleeping with just random chicks because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? And then as I ascend, it doesn't make sense to, even if I want it to, because you know what I'm saying? So no, I don't do that, you know, but I, yes, there are certain, all of us are certain women that you trust or you've been cool with for years or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that is, and, and I made a joke about how that's <laughs> me being in a, in a polygamous relationship because I can be in a relationship, non-relationship with a woman for a certain amount of years. I don't know what she's doing and she don't know what I'm doing, but we trust each other when we're around each other. So, yeah. So I agree with you, uh, Lucky. I look at all of us as regular people. Like, is it none of, none of us is like in a relationship when you do that? Y'all don't have someone you trust that people? you're having sex with. Huh? Because you don't, I said, is it hard to be in a relationship when you do something like that? When you have you two people trust each other and mm -hmm. they're continuously having sex, how does that allow you to be in a healthy relationship with someone when you choose to do that? Well, once one of the people turn around and say, I'm in a relationship or I got a girlfriend and boyfriend, the other person falls back and then they just fall back. You know, because having and, sex with somebody over time does bring about feelings, is is especially for the woman. Well, yeah, but there's an understanding. What if does it do been, for y'all? If you've been dating somebody for years, not just straight up with you know for years or whatever, but on and off, you know, you care about that person, they care about you, and they they have a certain spot in your heart, right? And in their minds, they're like. Psst, they can get with this girl. They, he can get with that girl. Like it's whatever. He, he, she, he's going to come back to me and then it'll be like that. And sadly the relationship actually ends and you know, the dude goes back to her, but if the relationship doesn't end and it turns into a marriage, you just never see the person before.